guest coming to the show is Solomon Battle, the creator of the Underground Report. Everyone, let's yeah. welcome Solomon Battle. Thank you, thank you, Jessica. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. Thank you, thank you. So tell me about the first episode of the Underground Report. Well, the first episode, uh, it features uh, R&B sensation Danikia. Okay. Uh, uh, she's doing uh, her debut single uh, as well. She's talking about how long she's been in the industry, you know, and uh, some of the obstacles and stuff that she met along the way. So how's your day going? Well, my day has been a hectic day, I swear. I mean, I've been all over the place. I just got out the studio recording and stuff for like this new play that I'm getting ready to do. Okay. But we're not here talking about the play today. What are we talking about today, Daryl Gray? You tell us. Tell the world. Well, the play is called the uh, Hip Hop Revival, but we talk about the Hip Hop Stop Shop. <laughs> okay. okay. Because you know I love hip hop. Okay. Hip hop, but don't stop. I That's like why hip hop I myself. Young Porter, John Bow, out of Bloy, Wisconsin. Uh, Lee Major, I featured one of his songs on uh, my promotional CD okay. for the radio show. And also, like I said, I met Daniki out of Chicago as well. Uh, <clears throat> we just shot a video, I'll be on my way, which is for the Steppers. Okay. Okay, tell me a little bit about the Hip Hop Stop Shop. Uh, well, my first episode, you know, I think uh, I was in uh, Wisconsin. Uh, you know, they got uh, 608, you know, they big with they 608. You know, okay. I think Infinite Music, they was pretty hot, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, so I wanted to take you and let you see some of the stuff that they did when they was on uh, the first episode that I'm putting together. Okay, well let's go ahead and go to that first episode. Okay, so how long have you been in this business? Wow, really honestly, I've been in this business since 1995. Started an independent record label called Midwest Motion Records. Okay. Uh, signed seven, eight acts. And I, at one, I was in charge of the managerial duties for them. Okay, nice. Uh, so we've been doing this for a long time. Uh, it's nothing new. Uh, the music industry is changing so much. Independent is taking over, and definitely, I, I can finally see you know my place in the industry. <laughs> okay, well that sounds good. That sounds great. Uh, me and my man Grant, we've been out doing a lot of shows, and and actually I just started interviewing a lot of people. And I created the show called the Hip Hop Stop Shop. Okay. And just have a lot of good artists, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and name maybe a couple of those artists. Well, you know what I'm saying? My boy Money Mo. I started off with my boy Money Mo. Okay. He from uh he was living in Janesville and he had his friend uh Mr. Evolution, you know, and them boys was hot. They was one of like the best promoters that I have seen in a long time. Cause I used to promote, but I just stopped doing it. But okay. you know, they allowed me to host right. their shows. Well, and, how long have you been hosting? Well, I've been hosting shows ever since I was a kid. I think I did my first show when I was 15. 15? Yeah, I did it at the Book of Washington Center right here in Rockford. Okay, well that was nice. Nice and young also. Yeah, Very yeah. Young. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, you know, that's why I, hey, I, I'm still stomping. I'm okay. 43 right now. All right now. now. All right you know, now. I'm 43 right now. So, you know, to be in the industry for that long and, you know, come across a lot of different artists and a lot of good talents. Okay. And, you know, I'm more into film and stuff right now. So. But, uh, so, what are some different things that you know you might be filming right now, or maybe in the future? Okay, well, you know, I did the Roy Stone show. Okay. Uh, I did a movie called Shut Off, okay. and you know, and now I'm doing the uh, Hip Hop Stop Shop. 